refuse to listen to it or not, but you're not going to say that I didn't tell you because I got to get the blood off my hands. See, that's when we got to start reverencing the things of God more than we reverence man. Because if we're going to be like him, we got to do what Christ does. Amen. Because see, even when you look at verse 5, it says, Those who live according to the sinful nature have their mind set on what the natural mind desires. See, I want to stay right there because, see, when people are always telling you, this is what I want to do. I'm going to tell them a piece of my mind. I'm going go to I'm gonna go do this. I'm going to go do that. Oh, girl, God know your heart. Yeah, God know your heart. But if you know, if you're going to go stealing and you know that that's wrong, yes, God know your heart, but God going to deal with you. And we got to stop telling people lies. You know what? Everybody ain't going to change in here one day. That's true. Everybody's not going to change at one time. But you don't continue to keep on doing the same thing and you know that it's wrong. If God showed you in the word of God that stealing is wrong, you can't say, well, you know what? I got to steal and take care of my children. God know my heart. The devil is a liar. If you got to humble yourself and say, you know what? I don't have any food to feed my children. Can you give me something to eat? Can you give me something? Now you got to humble yourself and let somebody know what you're going through versus for you to sit up here and tell me you got to steal because this is what you got to do. People in prostitution. I got to do what I got to do to take care of my family. No, you got to do to live how you want to live. So you might want to be in a five-star hotel over here, and you really need to be in a one-star hotel. But you really, in order to be like him, you need to go ahead on and deal with that one-star hotel until you can be able to do better. Because, see, you mean to tell me God, he would rather for you to stay in this one Star Hotel, then for you to be selling your body from this man to that man, putting all them spirits in your body, picking up all kind of demons. Come on now. Talk about you love the Lord, but you looking good. You got on name brand, you got the best weed, you got everything. But your spirit man is jacked up. Your insides is jacked up. You can't even sleep at night because you're tormented in your dreams. Then you wonder why you're having sex, why you see yourself having sex with different people in the dreams because it's the different people who you don't sleep with. Then you wonder, you know, why you go on dealing with different things in your body from them different spirits you don't picked up. But then yet you want to have the outer appearance looking good, but the inside is messed up. And he said, no, we can't be like that because we got people in the church like that. I know some people like that that feel like they got to sleep around to make time. I had to put a little p- pocket change in, in my pocket. Or, I, God, know I got to pay my life bill. No, but the problem is you don't want to fast and pray and believe God and stand on the word of God to pay your life bill. But it's much easier to tell this man over here, okay, come on here. We are going over here to the hotel. Do we got to do and You pay my life bill. Come on now. And we saying that we want God to bless us. God ain't fun to bless us with that church. We got to know that he's not, and we got to stop telling people. Because I have heard church people tell people that. God ain't pleased with that, because if we're going to be like him, we got to allow our mindsets to be changed. You may have grew up doing that. You may have seen your mama doing it, your grandmama doing it, your aunts did it. But when God showed you that that's wrong, you're supposed to say, okay, God, I need you to help me with this now. Come on. I need you to help break this generation of curse. I need my sister Joe over here. I need you to pray with me because we need this thing broken. I can't go keep on going around in the same circle doing what the people in my family did. Because, see, we can pray it all we want to, but if that mindset don't change, you'll be the same way how everybody else in your family do. And he said we got to allow that mindset to change because, see, that's a sinful nature mindset. When you the same way that you was last year, you the same way you was the last six months, when you the same way you was last month, and your mindset have not changed, the sinful mind is in control. Because every time we read this word of God, God should be pricking our hearts. If I always cuss you out, and once I learned that blessings and curses can't come out the same mouth, before I let a curse word come out of my mouth, God should be pricking my heart. And I say, you know what? God help me because I can't do that no more. See, we got to allow him to change us because in order for us to be like him, this is going to have to take place. Our mindset has to change. It said, but those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mindset on what the spirit desires. 